So to make this really easy make, all I've got here is a t-shirt that my son has now grown out of, but it was bought especially when my daughter was born and it says the best brother ever. So what I'm going to do is make this into a piece of wall art that you can hang in his bedroom. Now he's a bit older and um, what I need is the t-shirt and I've got this bit of canvas board here. So the pegs to hold it in place while I use the staple gun. To start this DIY, I put the t-shirt over the canvas board and roughly into about the place. So I think it's a little bit long to catch the top and bottom border. So I hold it in place a little bit like that. And I need to come over. So just try and central it as it doesn't have to be perfect because you can see it's made anyway and it's a handmade item. But what I try and do is roughly by eye. And if I use the pegs to just generally hold it in place where I want it, and then I can use, pull it into place as I go. And for the bottom bit, just fold it over, one peg there, and fold that side over, and one peg there. And I can see that's slightly wonky and pulled over that way because that line there isn't quite the same. So I'm just going to pull it over slightly so that that line. So it just takes a little bit of tweaking as you go to get it roughly where you want it yourself. Okay, so that's not far off it, I don't think. Again, I think that one there is a little bit to the right again. Good. And then as you, because it's a jersey material, as you pull it around to staple it, you can straighten that up as you go. So I'm going to put a couple of staples in, so as I do, pull that over. I'm using my staple gun, and what I use underneath, just put this bit of, it's just a bit of wooden plies for other DIYs underneath, just so it, just in case it goes through. So pull that over, and pull that to where you want it. Get your staple gun and about an inch in, staple it in. That's okay. And then do the same the other side, like so. And then one in the middle. And there we have, oops, upside down. There we have the bottom. So now I'll just move on to the top. So again, putting it on top of the board, pulling it over, about an inch or so in. Yeah, and the same this side. And then in the middle. And there we go. The top and bottom front. Now I'm just going to work along the sides. Pull that over. Put an inch in there. Okay, and then the same the other side. In the middle, about an inch. I'm working up to here. And then the here and then once we've gone to the, the edges, oops, daisy, try again. So that's that side, let's move that on the side and then on top and bottom of each this side. And there. And last one here. There we go. So that is the rough shape. Now I've got to work on the corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my material scissors and I'm going to trim around here. I can always add a couple more here. But I'm going to trim around all this excess material and these corners and then we're going to fold the corners over. So they come in, fold that over and I'll sit like that on the back, nice and neat. 
Yeah, nice little neat corner like that each side. So I'll go get my scissors and we'll get on with that. So I have my material scissors. So like I said, I'm going to cut along. Just cut down into this. There we go. And cut along here like that. Just to get a neat. Once you've cut this off, you can then tidy it up a little bit better. Let's cut that off. And come in this way. good and it is on the back I suppose I'm just gonna make it worse by carry on and then put an inch on the sides as well so I'm cutting along here just above the staples like so Once I get to there, like I said, cutting that off the corner, and then this corner the same. And that side's near enough long the top there. Might trim that in a little while, but we'll see how it looks. Just need to cut on the top. Perfect. There we go. And then finishing off this side. And then for the corner. Not quite as tidy as the others. Like I said, it's just generally to tidy up the back a bit, but once you turn over, you can't see it. So now it's just to tidy up these corners slightly. But what I'm going to do in between is add a few more staples around the edge of that material. Just hold it in place. So one more there. And then this side. And then in between the ones on the sides too. these corners. So what I'm going to do is oops, I'm going to fold that in slightly and then bring it down just so that it is away from the edge so it's down like that. Once I've folded those in, get the staple gun and screw them in place now which is the best way to staple these. Um, fold that in like that. I'll bring it down so I think I'll staple there. And that didn't work. It's because it's too thick, I suppose. So I'm going to staple on this bit here first. And then I might go top and bottom over the top of that join. Push it 
open a bit more so I can get the traction on it. And then we have that corner. Not the tidiest of corners, but it will stay put. And then to do the same here, like so. And again, push it down and staple it in. Now the bottom two. Last corner, fold that bit in, run back down, bring it around and staple in. I have a piece of wall art now for my son's bedroom, made from one of his old t-shirts. It's a lovely memory, it's a fabulous way to keep old t-shirts as a keepsake and that'll be hung on his wall in his bedroom. <laughs>